and Chief Dermatology Residents here at Vanderbilt. I picked Vanderbilt for several reasons. The first was I did an away rotation here and I knew this was the place I wanted to train. The residents we recruit are extremely good team players and are always willing to help one another out. We are good people who are very smart, hardworking, and always have fun inside and outside of clinic. All of my co-residents will be my lifelong friends and colleagues. Our faculty here are extremely supportive and we have a wide array of faculty interests as well as expertise. And you will find a supportive career mentor while you're here at Vanderbilt. More importantly, our nursing and support staff are phenomenal and always willing to help out and lend a helping hand. The facilities here at Vanderbilt Dermatology are phenomenal, from the clinic rooms to the most surgical and procedural space, to our resident workroom, to our dermatopathology reading room, to our inpatient consult room. Everything here is new or recently renovated. As a resident, you'll see a wide breadth as well as depth of pathology. And for some patients, who will even be their third or fourth dermatologist, some of who travel from outside of the state to see you in your continuity clinic. There's an appropriated amount of graduated autonomy here in the program, and overall, I will leave feeling very comfortable practicing all facets of dermatology. Last but not least, Nashville is a wonderful, fun city to live in. Best of luck in the application process and on match day, and we would love to have you here at Vanderbilt. In attending clinics, residents rotate one-on-one -on -one during their first, second, and third years through a variety of general dermatology and subspecialty clinics. Subspecialty clinics include cutaneous T-cell lymphoma clinic, pigmented lesion and melanoma clinic, and rheumatology dermatology clinic. Many of the general dermatology clinics have complex patients throughout the schedule, and residents will become expertly trained in the evaluation and treatment of hair disorders, neutrophilic disorders, nail disorders, ruminologic disorders with cutaneous manifestation, pigmentation disorders, vulvar disease, autoimmune blistering disorders, hydradenitis suppurativa, and cutaneous reactions to cancer therapies. Schedules rotate with each block, exposing residents to all of our faculty members. I'm Lisa, I'm one of the second year dermatology residents. Um, Vanderbilt Dermatology really stood out to me on my interview day itself. The faculty and the residents were just so warm and welcoming. I immediately felt right at home. I did my preliminary year here actually as a medicine intern. Um, so I already got to see that Vanderbilt offered a whole breadth and variety of diverse patient populations to take care of. So I was so excited to start my dermatology residency. Um, and then from day one when I started, I was absolutely blown away by the breadth and depth of uh, the dermatology patients that we got to take care of. We work at 100 Oaks, uh, the main hospital, the Children's Hospital, and at the VA. So we get to really take care of such a diverse group of patients. Um, and then finally, my fellow residents are incredible. Uh, they have been my sense of community and my support system since day one. I hang out with them inside and outside of the clinic setting, and I really value their friendship. During second and third year, residents learn how to manage the treatment of benign and malignant cutaneous lesions. During each of these years, two of the five-week blocks are dedicated to surgical training including hands-on experiences with Mohs micrographic surgery and excisional surgery techniques. Vanderbilt Dermatology has four Mohs surgeons and the Mohs surgical suite is contiguous with the outpatient clinic space. Vanderbilt has an ACGME accredited procedural dermatology fellowship run by Dr. Tina Clayton. Residents during their first and second year also receive direct surgical training including excision of benign and malignant lesions under the guidance of both the Procedural Dermatology Fellow and third-year residents at the VA Medical Center. I'm Alex Hicks. I'm one of the current chief residents here at Vanderbilt Dermatology. I chose Vanderbilt due to the great representation across numerous subspecialties within dermatology, as well as the various specialty clinics that we offer here. We're fortunate to receive a heavy training emphasis on medical dermatology with experience treating very complex patients here at Vanderbilt, not only across our inpatient dermatology service, uh, but also within our medical dermatology clinics and other specialty clinics, including our rheumatology dermatology overlap clinic. As someone who really enjoys procedural aspects of dermatology, uh, we also are fortunate to have heavy hands-on surgical experience here 
working regularly throughout our second and third years of training with four different uh, Mohs micrographic surgeons. Additionally, the facilities here at Vanderbilt uh, are extremely nice and dreaming to the program as well. This really creates a pleasant working environment for evaluating and treating patients on a daily basis. And lastly, the uh, Nashville and Middle Tennessee region as a whole were huge benefits uh, as I view Nashville as one of my favorite cities across the U.S. Overall, I feel like the training here at Vanderbilt is superb and fosters the creation of well-rounded uh, and extremely capable dermatologists, which is why I chose to come to Vanderbilt for my dermatology residency. Residents start call during the second half of first year, then complete two inpatient dermatology consult blocks during the second year. The consult service sees patients at both the Vanderbilt University Adult Hospital and the Monroe Carroll Jr. Children's Hospital at Vanderbilt. Consult time is protected with no other clinical responsibilities other than weekly continuity clinic. The consult service is run by Dr. Dewan, who is fellowship trained in complex medical dermatology. Residents spend half their time seeing patients with Dr. Dewan and half their time with other attendings rotating through the service. Follow-up for patients as an outpatient is then completed by the residents in their continuity clinic allowing for longitudinal learning experiences. Hi, I'm Karen. I'm one of the dermatology residents. I love that Vanderbilt has a large program with five residents in each class. The camaraderie among residents is something I valued when I rotated here as a fourth year medical student and on interview day. The classes individually and among each other are really like family. It was also important for me to find a program that provides an outstanding training experience in general medical dermatology, as well as an abundance of opportunities to become well-versed in many different subspecialties. Most importantly, the faculty at Vanderbilt give the program a unique character that contributes to a well-rounded training experience that can't be replicated. I think it would be difficult for anyone to identify just one mentor within our program, as they each have unmatched qualities that any dermatologist would hope to acquire throughout their training. I look forward to going to work each day and learning in the Vanderbilt facilities alongside my remarkable colleagues and mentors. The dermatopathology training at VUMC is unique and renowned. Glass slide reviews, one day of textbook review, and one day of unknowns are held twice weekly by our two dermatopathologists, Dr. Alan Boyd and Dr. Jeff Sperner, both of whom are fellowship trained in dermatopathology and also practice clinical dermatology. Residents participate in sign out of the daily cases during first and second year. Because DermPath is part of the Department of Dermatology, all glass slides are kept on site. Glass slides from continuity clinic and attendee clinic, as well as consults, can therefore be easily pulled by residents and reviewed with a pathologist. Immunopathology slides are read by Dr. Joe David Fine, a world expert in blistering diseases of the skin. These slides are also available for review within the clinic space. In the resident workroom, we each have our own workspace, plenty of storage, microscopes, mailboxes, refrigerators, color printers, and a smart TV for our didactics. Many of our didactics occur in the resident workroom, including book review, journal club, faculty lectures, and consult review. It is a large, new space reserved and dedicated for just residents to work and study in.